Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Stein's Gate. It's a space in which we are awesome, where, disclaimer, I can't actually do all that much of my voice raising that I normally do when reading lines today. I can't get too into it, I have to keep calm and relaxed. And to, uh, configuration? I just want to change the volume, man. Help. Ah, uh, where's the where's the options? This is a screen I've never seen. System menu. One. Oh yeah, there you go. That's why hitting escape always closes again. Anyway, so yeah, I can't be loud because roommates are sleeping. So <laughs> let's do this calmly and rationally. You know, as much as I can. Looks like she finally understands I'm not lying. But I still don't understand why my memories don't match everyone else's. I doubt that I can give her a good explanation. Just then, an older man steps out of the assembly hall. Makise-san, sorosoro jikan desu shi, hajimemashou. That felt like a lot more words than what was on screen. Makise-san, it's almost time. Huh? Hi. Oh, right, uh, thank you. Karasu glances at me one more time, then sighs, heads towards and head towards a small conference room. Okarin, we should go to. Iku to a do you imita? Go where? Kogi o kiki ni kitan daro. To hear the lecture, duh. Ah, th that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm referencing a thing. Daru follows after Kirisu. I keep on saying it as if it's like Tiramisu, but I don't actually know how to pronounce it. I haven't watched the anime in... Well, months, but my memory is in fact that bad. Did you come to attend the lecture too? Strange. Also, I'm just the absolute garbagest at names. Like, faces I'm always good with, and sometimes voices too. No, I'm, I'm pretty good with voices, but names... God, the words confuse me. Why would the girl genius, Makis, Makise Karasu, need to attend a lecture like this? Makis, the spell, the pronunciation I was using is very English. <laughs> okay, my guess was a bit off. The girl genius didn't come to attend the lecture. Oh, shit. She came to gave the lecture. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming to hear me speak today. She's the one giving the lecture. Japan's famous girl genius, Mekasi Kirisu, who had her thesis published at the tender age of 17. Is 17 that tender? I know a lot of asshole 17 year olds. Oh well. According to Daru, she turned 18 a few days ago. Oh, so the way you were saying that sounded like it was years ago. It was recently. <laughs> First heard about her when Daru pointed her out in a gossip magazine article. That's when he told me that she was going to be a guest at ATF. ATF. I've forgotten all about it. It's my first time giving a lecture like this, so please forgive me if I'm a little nervous. God, look at that art on her face. Okay, give it a second. Give it a second. Just calm down. Everybody. Everybody calm down. Okay. <laughs> The audience doesn't sound pretty mixed. It's mostly students. Shut the fuck up. It's mostly students, but there are also a couple of professors. And Kir Kirisu just gave me a sharp look. What did I do? I never Stop fucking clapping! <laughs> when I return her stare, she act she uh, quickly averts her eyes. Hmm. I don't care if she's a genius or whatever. It's coming like she may have these people fooled with their timid girl act and they're still clapping. But I learned at Ratty Can how cunning and aggressive she really is. Even if her murder was some kind of hallucination, which that doesn't sound. Stop fucking clapping, Jesus! <laughs> there is a limit. <laughs> Ridiculous. Even if her murder was some kind of hallucination, my judgment of her character is still correct. 
Thank Christ, oh my god, it was so, so long. It was so long. <laughs> Please, find me anywhere ever a group of people that clap that long, because holy shit, it was so fucking long. <laughs> It's one of those things that, like, you keep hearing it and you keep thinking it's going to end, and it never does. <laughs> and I'm apparently really giggly tonight, so excuse me. For today's lecture, I've been asked to speak on the subject of time travel. It's not really my area of expertise, but I'll try my best. Time, time travel? Oh, ho! <laughs> Let me start by saying that time travel is an absurd concept. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not yelling, but... OBJECTION! <laughs> okay. Every member of the audience, not just Kirisu, is startled by my interruption. Perhaps I'm being slightly rude here, but I'm not the one to just sit and listen to some genius girl's drivel. For a genius, she's stupid. Time machine it's presumptuous of you to claim that time travel is absurd. <laughs> Why are you calling him magnificent? <laughs> oh, Karin, you magnificent fool. Sitting at my side, Dara throws me a small salute. <laughs> you interrupt that lecture with, with honor, sir. <laughs> ATF staff are approaching probably to kick me out. Perhaps I got too carried away. Um... Um, okay, it's fine, I guess. It would be easier to talk in a discussion format. Thanks to your proposal, the event staff refrained from escorting me out. She sounds a little pissed, but eh, let's ignore that. Just, just fucking, her feelings are stupid. <laughs> but before that, please listen to my thoughts on the subject. Ooh. Scientists have proposed many theoretical models of time travel, but there are 11 in particular that bear mentioning. What are the major theories of time travel? There's three that I know of. I've heard about the cosmic string theory, at least. Yeah, mine aren't named. <laughs> Let me take a brief interlude to discuss my three theories on, the, on time travel, using fiction as a base, because... Obviously. Um, the first is Back to the Future. Um, what it is, is Paradox World. You can go back, you can change whatever you want, and then the world breaks and suddenly you don't exist and it tries to correct itself and everything dies and explodes and holy shit, don't fuck with shit. You can change things, but don't change your own life. Otherwise, Paradox. The second, um... I forget which one is my personal favorite, since it's been a while since I talked about it. The second is that the universe uh, corrects into the multiverse theory. It doesn't break trying to fix itself, it just says, eh, fuck it, you can do that too, but it's no longer where you live. Um, I believe that was done in... Oh, I couldn't tell you. Every time I think about it, people just go with the paradox route. Either way, there's no real way to get back home. It just becomes the multiverse theory. And you can make similar decisions that get you back to where you think it was your home. But it's not actually your home. It's just a very similar option. The third one. Time is linear. It, it dictates that there is no free will. And that no matter what you do in the past, you are part of the process to get to the present. Meaning, there is only one timeline. It corrects itself. If you were to hypothetically shoot Hitler, he's replaced by somebody who looks like him. You know, as an example. Um, they did that on, I believe, Red vs. Blue did that one. So, there you go. Those are the three theories of time travel. Um, I, I used to have a sentence that summed it up so succinctly. Um, it was something along the lines of... It, it's basically an offer of which time travel do you want to go with. Um, it was something along the lines of, uh, do you want to cause the past, uh, destroy the present, or something the future? 
Oh no no no! It was uh, cause the past, change the present, destroy the future. Those that's that's the that's the sentence. All right, let's get back to the game. Sorry that I touched on it. The eleven theories. Newton star theory, black hole theory, light speed theory, tachyon theory, wormhole theory, exotic matter theory, cosmic string theory, quantum gravity theory, cesium laser theory. Never heard of a cesium laser. I'm sure that's real, but, you know, I've never heard of it, so there you go. Elemental, elementary particle ring and laser theory. Dir Dirac antiparticle theory. God, these words. I am not a scientist. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> hmm, not bad. Perhaps Mikisi Kirisu is a worthy rival after all. I thought it said worthy time traveler. <laughs> However, all of these models are purely theoretical. Some of them are even contradict each other. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's different theories for why the Earth is the shape it is, and they contradict each other, because that's what theories do. It's a theory, it's not proven, there or go, other theories can contradict each other. That's just science. Well, that's just popular science. Well, what if someone comes up with a 12th model and names it after me? Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, right, well... Oh, look at that really dismissive face. She's like, get a load of this fucking idiot. <laughs> it could be contradicted by the 13th model, now couldn't it? Damn, she twisted my question and used it against me. Touche, genius girl. <laughs> oh, it's it's so condescending to say genius girl, like the the amount he does, like just as a like as a sentence, sure, whatever. But like to continue to say it, it's implying that he thinks little of her. <laughs> Suddenly, I see this is uh, I feel eyes on me. Some puffed up professors are giving me hard looks from across the room. Maybe you got too carried away. I don't want to risk losing my credits. Should back off for now. By the way, time travel is the future to the future is available to us right now. According to Einstein's special theory of relativity, which is to say, you are literally time traveling to the future right now. Second, one second per one second. But it's 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 kind of a fucking phoning it in answer. First, both Einstein's special theory of relativity, relativity, published in 1905, and his general theory of relativity, published in 1916, represented by the famous equation E equals m c squared. Really interesting way to put that. I, I guess they could put a, a two in a. Anyway, the special theory of relativity, relativity, relatively, is defined by the following axioms: objects cannot travel faster than the speed of light. Correct. As velocity approaches the speed of light, the passage of time approaches zero. Because as far as we know, we could all be very wrong. As far as we know, time and uh, the passage of time, or at least the perceived passage of time, and the speed at which a person is going are essentially like on a fucking y -A x axis bar graph or whatever. So, essentially, you're always moving, like, directly straight up, one second per distance. And if you move slightly, the, the bar goes slightly to the side. The faster you go, the, the more the, the arrow points to, uh, to the right and, like, rotates to, to eventually be pointing directly to the right. Meaning you aren't moving forward in time anymore, you're just moving forward in space. So time doesn't move. <laughs> As velocity approaches the speed of light, mass approaches infinity. I can't simplify that one for you. The general theory of relativity... I really have trouble reading that one today. As the following axioms, in the presence of large gravitational fields, the passage of time slows down. In the presence of large gravitational fields, space curves. In the presence of large gravitational fields, mass increases. It's a lot of uh, large gravitational fields. For example, let's say someone were to go to Han 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 Hanida Banana 
airport on board a plane headed to Okinawa. Upon arrival, that person would be about one hundred millionth of a second further into the future than I am. What does that mean? According to the special uh, theory of relativity, time moves slower for objects as they approach the speed of light. For example, if you could run at near the speed of light, you could reach a point where time only moves half as fast as you. If you were to keep running at, the, at that speed for 24 hours, 48 hours would elapse in the rest of the world, meaning you would jump one day into the future. Understand? Hoyun Koyama? Why are you singling me out? <laughs> yeah, look at that fucking smug face. She's signaling you out because you're the only one who called her out. <laughs> Read the room, dude. Doing my best to hold back, but it looks like Makis Kirisu wants to pick a fight. I wish that she hadn't said that name in front of so many people, even though that's how I introduced myself. It's a, it's a, I'm weird like that. It's too great a risk to let others know my true name. Ah! Oh, why the fuck do you introduce yourself that way all the time? God damn it. Common sense, my dude. That's not really time travel, is it? It, it is. Um, my dude, take it from somebody who's fucking autistic. Common sense is your friend. <laughs> now, Professor calmly makes an objection. True, Mickey Stewart's example isn't strictly time travel per se. You were literally traveling through time. <laughs> But I never expected an older man, a professor at that, to refute an 18-year-old girl. Interesting. Why does that matter? Maybe he's just testing the genius girl's resilience. Yes, well, you're right. The genius girl ready, re readily, readily, readily concedes the point. If she were a normal 18-year-old, it would be impossible for her to be this calm in front of all these people. Why you make assumptions like that? People are naturally- some people are naturally charismatic. A normal 18-year-old would panic when refuted by such a distinguished-looking professor. I mean, a lot, sure, but not- you can't say normal. Some normal people don't give a fuck. Especially teenagers. <laughs> and yet, Makis Kirisu is giving off an aura of gutsiness that says, I can take this guy on. Then what about going to the past? Going to the past is possible right now. Take a look at the sky at night. You can see light from tens of thousands of years ago, can't you? Cop out, first of all. Secondly, literally going, you you moving into the past and not just looking at it. Um, that is impossible. You can see the past. You can't go there. <laughs> It's the one place you can see but can't go to. That's not time travel either. This time it's a nearby student who objects. Well, I'm just getting started. <laughs> Mic drop, walks out. Is it just me or did Kirisu look a little nervous just now? Does she look a little nervous? Let's say we wanted to make a machine that could physically transport people through time. What would we need? The best candidates for this are cosmic strings and wormholes. A cosmic string is a string-shaped crevice with extreme mass. String-shaped crevice? That must be how they enter our universe. Okay, take a fucking step back. Who are they? <laughs> Do the cosmic strings really exist? The crevice is about as wide as an elementary particle, and at least as long as the diameter of a galaxy. <clears throat> Smallest unit of me me matter. Measure. Matter. However, the definition of what constitutes an elementary particle is, un Ugh, me. is unclear. Certain elementary particles um, have a corresponding antiparticle with opposite charge. This is controversial, but I don't like all the anti and dark fucking matter and, and energy and shit that people keep talking about. Oh, dark matter's everywhere. Prove it. <laughs> like, all you say, as far as I know, is that it has to be there because 
it ex that's what explains what we see. Cool. Other things could do that. You know, if I were a scientist, I'd probably be able to make something else up. You can't actually prove that there is dark matter. It's just a fucking name placeholder you put to describe a thing that you can't explain that explains other things you can't explain. That's all dark matter is, and that's all it's ever going to be. Fucking damn it. I hate when people say that dark matter is proven real. It fucking isn't. It's just the absence of something else. That's not proof. That's not proof. God damn it. I hate it. I hate dark matter, and I hate everyone who supports it, which is everyone. God damn it. All right, that's 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 it for me, and I'm sorry I ranted so much this episode and went into sciencey shit. Well, I'm not uh, an authority figure on it in any regard. I'm very interested in it, so I do know how to throw the terms around at the very least. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, I'm Kiwi. Great tuning yourself. A delightful day. Goodbye.